Hello there, this is Miguel from Spoda Home Madrid. Today guys, I'm at a very nice four-share bedroom apartment located in Calle de Nienberg, which is in Ciudad Jardín or Prosperidad, same neighborhood. Uh, the closest metro is Alonso 13 or Prosperidad, uh, Prosperidad, I'm sorry, about three minutes and four minutes. Prosperidad, um, both uh, metro stations are line four, so that means that you'll be in Arguelles in about 15 to 20 minutes. That means that it's perfect for students that are either in Ciudad Universitaria or any other in institution around the area. So again, uh, like I said, it's a four-share bedroom apartment, but it doesn't have a living room, all right? So the only common area will be the kitchen that I'm gonna show you in a minute, all right? But I guess, I'm pretty sure this is perfect for uh, post-grade students, even uh, young professionals or students Erasmus, all right? So let's take a tour. All right, so I'm gonna come first here to the main door, which is this one. All right, so as we come in, this is what we see. We have four bedrooms in here, but this one is the biggest one, and unfortunately, it's it. I can't show you. I can show it to you at the moment because there's already people in it, but it has a terrace. All right, um, but actually, just today I did two, uh, one more flat in this same building, which is part of the same owners, and the bedroom two. Um, I was able to get in so if you just look for the um, you know suggestions based on this flat maybe you might be able to see the bedroom which is just at the other side of the hall on the building all right exactly the same all right but um, so I'm gonna show you again so this is bedroom number two biggest one with double bed I can't show you that one but I can show you bedroom one I'm sorry this is three sorry <laughs> I can show you one two and four all right and then right there is the kitchen this is bedroom bathroom number one and bathroom number two all right so there are two bathrooms per two there are one bathroom per two rooms so that's not too bad you're going to share just the bathroom with one person all right so talking about bathrooms let's start with this one which is uh, as you can see of course is bathroom number one it has the toilet uh, the sink i'm sorry the toilet a nice mirror a window to uh, an interior patio not much light comes in it has a big shower here very useful and a towel uh, dryer there for uh, of course it works for heating and as well for drying the, the towels which is nice so like i said there are one two people per bathroom so one of these box will belong to the tenant uh, for personal staff cleaning staff and all that all right so just another view of the bathroom from here. Really nice and clean. All right, let's go to the bedrooms now. So this is bedroom number one. So as you can see, it's really, really big actually. It has a nice distribution. So it has a single bed in here, a nightstand. All right, it also has a mirror, of course. And the wardrobe, which is this one, is a built-in closet unit, all right? Each bedroom here has an AC unit, so that's good for summer, all right? I'm gonna show you the AC unit in a minute, but first you can see they have some space there for um, storage, so it's a useful built-in, all right? Um, and there, there it is, the AC unit, all right? For, just for you to know. So of course, so it also has a desk, a chair, a nice lamp, the heating unit, and a window that, uh, Oops, this is just the other way. My bad. Let me open it up for you guys so you can see. Since I won't be able to go to the terrace, I can show you the views, all right? So this is the terrace that I was telling you about. So it's only accessible through uh, room number three, which is that one. So the uh, this window and window for room number two go to the same terrace, which is kind of like an interior patio, but it's not. The street is right there, so it's good for lighting all right all right let's go back inside put this back in a minute all right so let's go to bedroom number two right next door all right again same window goes to the terrace but uh, same similar structure with a single bed nightstand there this one has an standalone closet unit still very useful of course a desk the chair another nice lamp a mirror, the heating unit in here as well, and a closet unit. All right. 
All right, let's go to room number four. Again, I can't show you room number three, which is this one, but I can show you room number four, which is this other one. All right, let's turn the lights on. All right, so same, uh, same structure, single bed with a, uh, with a nightstand, a mirror, a heating unit, desk, chair, and standalone closet unit, same as the other one. And this one goes to the same kind of interior patio, but no terrace. This one is kind of isolated from the rest. All right, and another view of the room from here. All right, and right in front of room number four, we're gonna find the kitchen, which is this one right here. Let's turn the lights on. But it's still, I mean, a lot of light comes through that window, but I just wanted to turn it on so you can see it better. Of course, it's fully equipped. It's got the oven, the electric stove, um, the um, dish, I'm sorry, the washing machine, extractor, of course, that's for the heating water, all the knives and everything It's in here. Like I said, there's already people in here. So, but as you can see, it's fully equipped. Everything in here belongs to the place. So it's got scissors, forks, and uh, for everything, for cooking, for ice making, perfect. Even for, uh, of course, the sink. And it has these drawers, these shelves here for, uh, of course, for food. But as you can see, it's fully equipped, all the plates, glasses, cups, and everything. It also has that dining area there with uh, four chairs, a microwave oven, a piece of ham, which is nice, jamón ibérico del bueno. <laughs> All right, and uh, then this uh, goes to again kind of like interior patio, but it's not with the clothes lines for uh, uh, drying your clothes, All right? And that's the street. And of course the fridge, which is big enough for four people. All right, and right behind the door, just the cleaning stuff. This is very useful. I like it, all right? So guys, that will be it. I think I no, I'm missing one bed, one bathroom. Sorry, it's this one right here. All right. So this is bathroom that's gonna be the bathroom that is gonna be shared between ba bedrooms three and four. All right. So it's this one right here. It's a little bigger than the other one. Toilet, uh, sink, and a shower here, and of course the same two boxes I show I told you before. All right. Another view of the bathroom from here as you can see it's very luminous as well goes to the same patio as the kitchen all right okay and so all right ready that will be it guys all right so again this four share bedroom apartment it's located in Calle um, um, the name Berg, I'm sorry and it's perfect for I would say uh, students and young people in general all right so I hope you liked it this is Miguel from Esporo Madrid and peace out see you next time bye